430 years ago, English explorer John Davis got lost on his attempt at rounding the Cape Horn. But this had an unexpected side effect in that he was the first to spot the uninhabited Falkland Islands from his ship Desire. And since this sighting, the 14th of August has been known as Falklands Day. But it took a lot of explorers named John before the Falklands became what it's known as today. 98 years later, John Strong landed near Port Howard and was the first to step foot on the island. He named them after Treasurer of the Navy, Anthony Carey, 5th Viscount of Falkland. But John didn't stay long. In 1764, a French man called Louis found a colony at Port Louis, which was the first settlement. The next year, the British John Barron led an expedition to the island and established the first British settlement on Port Egmont on Saunders Island. In 1766, Captain John McBride, having been keeping track of all the Johns, secured the British position and base claiming possession of the island. While this was happening, the French government told Louis to dismantle his settlement of Port Louis and sell it to the Spanish. Francisco was the man the Spanish left in charge of fighting the claim on the islands, but the British refused to leave. In 1770, the Spanish sent five ships and 1,400 soldiers to fight the British. George Farmer was in control at Port Egmont and they were forced to agree terms to let them sail back to Britain. This caused some issues between Spain and Britain, but the French wanted to avoid a war and Port Egmont was returned to British rule in 1771. But just three years later, they had to leave anyway for economic reasons. Nearly 300 years after the Spanish gave Port Edwin back and the islands are a thriving, diverse community of around 3,500 people. Hard to imagine those early days with just a handful of Johns.